Hi, I'm Leah, and in this video, you will learn about our project on self-contact and human pose. 3D human pose estimation has made rapid progress, but one important aspect is starkly missing, self-contact. Humans touch their bodies, for example, to get physical support, like this woman reading a book, or to convey their emotional state. A key reason why self-contact has rarely been studied is the lack of suitable data sets. Scans and mocap data provide 3D ground truth, but no in the wild images. Common image annotations, like key points or semantic segmentation, don't contain information about contact. The recent discrete contact annotations can solve this to some extent, but they're coarse and they don't provide 3D ground truth. To address this problem, we create new data sets, MTP, a data set of in the wild images with accurate 3D reference data and DSC, discrete self-contact annotations for three publicly available data sets. Then we use these data sets to train touch and network to regress human pose and shape. To create the MTP data set, we first construct 3DCP, a data set of 3D meshes with contact in simple X topology. To do so, we scan six subjects in various self-contact poses and use a self-contact preserving energy term to register the simple X mesh to their scans. We also search the AMAS motion capture data set for near contact poses, such as the orange pose you can see in the video here, and refine these poses to encourage self-contact and resolve slight self-interpenetration with our self-contact optimization method. To collect in the wild images, we render the meshes from 3DCP and highlight the contact area. Then we ask workers on Amazon Mechanical Turk to mimic these poses. Although the presented and the mimicked pose are quite similar, they don't match perfectly. For example, look at the hand position or the global orientation here. To correct these differences, we introduce Simplify XMC, which adapts Simplify X to our task. Simplify X is an optimization based approach to fit the simple X mesh to 2D key points using pose and shape priors. In Simplify XMC, we take the presented pose and contact as well as the subject's height and weight into account. We also use contact preserving energy terms, LC and LP, visualized in the graph here. LP pushes inside vertices to the surface and LC pulls outside vertices that are close to each other into contact. Here are two examples, the presented pose in blue, the mimicked image in the center, and the Simplify XMC fit in gray. To create discrete self-contact annotations, we divide the mesh into 24 regions and annotate their pairwise contact. The regions in color, for example, the left and the right hand in this yoga pose, get the same color on the template mesh. To train our regressor, we adopt the spin training design. In SPIN, the regressor's prediction is refined by Simplify optimization. The refined meshes serve as new training data for the regressor. In TOUCH, we replace Simplify by Simplify DC. Simplify DC optimization has a 2D reprojection energy term, a pose prior loss, and LC and LP, the pushing and pulling terms. In LD, we take the discrete contact annotations into account. So in the example of this gymnastics pose, it encourages the bottom and the left foot to be in contact. We use 50% DSC and 50% MTP data per batch. In contrast to DSC data, MTP data is good enough and must not be optimized. The touch training loss includes a reprojection, pose and shape losses, as well as LC and LP, the pushing and pulling terms. To evaluate our method, we divide 3DPW into three sets, images with contact, images with no contact, and in biggest cases. The table shows that touch training improves across the board on 3DPW, with the largest improvement coming from contact poses. Surprisingly, touch also improves on non-contact poses. Here are some qualitative examples. Note how the intersections are resolved in the first row, and how nicely the hands are touching the feet in the second row. Thank you for listening. For more information, code and data, please visit our website.